Hey guys, this is my Keisha coming to you from out of Chester. And I'm here, they call me the Cake Boss. And this is my latest cake. This is a baby owl cake that I have done. And this was my first attempt. So I'm going to share with you how I did it. You will need two eight inch and one six inch and you will stack them together. And before you crumb coat them, you just wanna kinda of round it out to make it look like an owl. And with the extra cake that I was cutting, I made the ears, so. So let's get started. Now, how I did the feathers, I use a round cookie cutter and I use my wilting tool when I made the marks. Everything is made out of fondant, the beak, the eyes, her little bow for her hair. And you just go around and I did the pink in the front. You can do whatever color you want and then the back is all lavender. So, and I use edible glue. And we have matching cupcakes, where what I just did was I used a cookie cutter and I kind of stretched it so it can be like that oval shape. You cut the tip of it off, you make the eyes and your marks. Then we have the purple one, the same way. So guys, there you have it. This is the Cake Boss coming to you from out of Chester. And this is my owl cake that I have done. Hope you guys enjoy watching. You can shoot me a comment in a video. Well, not a video, but shoot me a comment. Let me know what you thought of my video. You guys can find me on Facebook at JJ Sweet Tooth or the Cake Boss of Chester. You guys can find me on my website, JJSweetTooth.com. Leave me a message. Thanks.